Hey guys, it's your girl Sean, aka the Perfume Lady, and I am back. And today, I'm going to rank my Zara fragrances from least favorite to favorite. So stay tuned. I've been seeing a lot about Zara fragrances lately and I decided to rank my Zara fragrances because it is the most that I have from one brand. So I have six fragrances from Zara and I'm going to show you my favorite, least to most in that order. So let's get started. All right, so coming in at number six, we have Zara Apple Juice. Now I only got this in the one ounce at the store I was at that was the only size that they had available at the time. This is the one ounce and it was $10.90. Apple juice is a fresh, clean, fruity scent. You do get the hint of apple, but not in the sweet way that you're thinking. It's more like a, a green apple. And they named it apple juice, which I'm not sure because it does not smell like the drink, but it is, you smell apple, so it's more of a fresh, apple than a overly sweet apple that you would get versus something like Donna Karen's Be Delicious. That is a very sweet apple or K. Ali. So this is number six, Apple Juice by Zara. All right guys, so coming in at number five is Zara Femme. Now Femme to me, and the notes say something different. To me, Femme has a citrusy undertone while it has vanilla bottom notes and kind of woody bottom notes so let's see yeah i don't know but for some reason i'm getting something sweet like a scent of citrus a hint of citrus oh my god a hint of citrus out of this but this is fresh it is feminine it is soft when you spray it on it just it smells amazing I absolutely love this. So this is Zara Femme, and this is number five. All right, so coming in at number four is Zara Nui. Nui. You don't pronounce the T. I heard somebody say it, and it's Nui. The bottle is so pretty. It is this brown, woody, earthy bottle that has looked like a gradient, like it gets lighter as it gets to the bottom and deeper at the top. I, I love this bottle. And I said in my haul video about this, that this scent reminds me of a sweeter version of Donna Karen's Cashmere Mist. Imagine Cashmere Mist with a heavy like black currant or tonka bean note. And that's what I get from this. It reminds me of Cashmere Mist so much. It smells so amazing. It is perfect for, I would say summer nights, woody, you know, woody, soft. It's good for summertime, but at night. This is not a day fragrance to me. Yeah, I would not wear this during the day, but if you were going on a date night, if you're going out to the club during the summertime, you got on a nice dress and you want the breeze to spread your scent around, this is a nice, interesting one. And the last time on this is pretty good. The Lasting Power, I sprayed this on my shirt and I could smell it the next day. So the lasting power is pretty good. So this is number four, Zara Nui. You'll be able to tell by the dent that you see in this bottle. Coming in at number three is Zara Cherry Smoothie. Look at that. Can you not tell I've been wearing this? Look at that. She has been getting some wear time. Cherry Smoothie is a fun, fruity fragrance. This screams summertime. It reminds me of a nice cherry popsicle or a cherry snow cone. Who grew up with the snow cones and the snow cone juice? That's what this reminds me of. It, it is a sweet cherry vanilla fragrance. It is so good and it layers well with so many other fragrances. I layered this with Bath and Body Works uh, strawberry pound cake and I had people ask me, what are you wearing? You smell like a walking dessert. What is this? This is so good. I just... Oh man, it's so good. Once again, 
with the fun and fruitiness, number three, Zara Cherry Smoothie. Get you a bottle. I think this is limited edition. I think it's for only the summertime. I will definitely be purchasing a backup before summer is over with. All right, staying on the fun and fruity topic is number two, Zara Hibiscus. <sighs> oh my God. This is a floral, fruity fragrance. You get everything in this. You get the floral, you get the fruity, you get the vanilla, you get all the notes in this fragrance. And when you first smell it, it reminds you of a Sour Patch Kid. That, that sour candy, you know, that you eat it and it gives you locked jaw for a second and then it just bursts with sweetness. That's, that is what this does. Mm, it is delicious, edible, sweet smell. I absolutely love that fragrance. And I think it's limited. I don't know if it's limited edition. I'm going to find out because I'm going to need a backup for this. I'm going to need another one reason why I'm thinking it's limited edition because of the smell. I mean, this is summertime. This is sweet, floral. All the bees and the bugs will be chasing you if you wear this. <laughs> because it just, it smells like a sweet flower. I mean, it, it's just amazing. So coming in at number two is Zara's Hibiscus. The one we've all been waiting for. The number one Zara fragrance to me in my collection. My absolute favorite of all my Zara fragrances. Violet Blossom. Like the Noue, is in a, a clear bottle, but it's, you, it's so hard to see. I'm going to try to insert a clip of it, but the bottle is this beautiful deep eggplant color. And this fragrance has three notes. Cherry Blossom. Tonka bean and violet. And this is so good. I, I know I should wear this in the fall, but I have been sneaking and wearing this now. Oh my goodness. And I think I gravitate to this so much is because of the Tonka bean. I love fragrances that have vanilla, Tonka bean. Those two notes get me every single time. I don't care who makes it. If it has vanilla and tonka bean in it, it is, oh my goodness, it is so good. So this is number one of my Zara perfumes, Violet Blossom. I will be wearing this in the summertime, in the fall. This is one of those fragrances that will make you break the rules. If they say, oh, you should only wear this during a certain time. No, 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 no. This is the rule breaker right here. We're going to be wearing this all year round. So this is number one, Violet Blossom. So guys, that wraps up me ranking my Zara fragrances. I plan on purchasing more because I still want Zara Peony. I still want Gardenia. And unfortunately, they were out of those when I went. So I still want those two. But so far with six fragrances, those are my favorites in my Zara collection. So comment below and tell me, what is your favorite Zara fragrance and why? Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, stay safe, and don't forget, subscribe on your way out. Subscribe. Come back. We want you to come back. Have a great one. Bye, guys.